All right, real estate besties, we made it. Are you curious on the last piece of advice that I would share with brand new agents? Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, it's Rosemary Lewis, your educator agent with eXp Realty. And although we've come to the end of the road. All right, y'all, we are at the end of the road with our eight part video series of advice that I would give brand new agents. Were you ready for that song? Side note, when I was in elementary school, everybody sang that song for their eighth grade graduation. But nonetheless, I digress. We are at the last piece of advice. And y'all, this has been a blast to share with you. I've told you before that the question that I get all the time in my inbox on Instagram is, Rosemary, what advice will you give to brand new agents? And that is where this video series was birthed. So if this is your first one, don't worry, go ahead and watch this one, but then go back because lots of great information was shared. And if you could listen, subscribe to the channel. I have a goal. I need 10,000 subscribers and give us a thumbs up. And can you comment like, which was your favorite video? Have you started putting any of this advice to practice? Like I want to hear from you and you definitely want to be in tune for what is probably the most important thing that I need to share with you. So let's get into it. Okay, y'all, so we have talked about all the things, right? We've talked about showing up on social, about money-making activities, choosing the right broker, um, you know, the, the importance of networking and masterminding, but you can do all of that stuff, but if you don't do this thing, then it's all for nothing. And the biggest thing that I am going to share with you, new, old, seasoned, veteran coming back to the business real estate agents wherever you are in your journey is you got to you got to get your mind right mindset <laughs> listen baby mindset is everything in this business and honestly it's everything in life and this is what i mean so y'all it's really funny and i just want to be very transparent with you all for a moment because i know that I seem to be very confident in this space. And, and quite honestly, I am. Um, I've been blessed to just do amazing things in this business. And one of those amazing things is to come and share and teach and use my gifts from my old profession here. This confidence was nowhere visible in 2017 when I first started in real estate. Y'all know what it is. You look on Instagram or you look around you and especially when you're new at something, at least my experience was I thought that everyone knew more. I thought that they were more qualified. I thought that they were prettier, smarter, more savvy, better entrepreneurs, like you name it. I gave a million reasons on why I was not qualified to be in this business. And like literally at one point I was like, you know what? I can't even go back to teach and I need to go back and be a, and be a substitute. <laughs> like this is hard. And you know why it was hard? Because I did not get my mind right. You know, there were so many things that I needed to do and unpack and get to know about Rosemary before I could show up authentically and serve others. And newsflash for you, right? I know that um, there is a lot of money to be made. I know that there's a lot of freedom to be had in this realm of real estate, but it is definitely a business of serving. And, um, sometimes when you are in a place of serving and, you know, a lot of times, you know, you, you almost in real estate can think that the amount of compensation is in direct relationship to your worth or your popularity. And when it's not working in the beginning, it can feel very defeating. And, and I'm be honest, like sometimes I have to still train my mind, even though I've experienced success in this business to know like, no, you deserve to be here. So when I say get your mind right, it's not just like, hey, I'm gonna work hard. Hey, I'm gonna do this. Like, yes, you have to get your mind right there, but you have to, um, there has to be a rhythm in your life where you are taking care of you, right? Because this space in between our ears, it can be our biggest asset 
or our biggest detriment. And um, I have found that spending time daily, just working on myself, getting to know myself, right? Y'all know I'm a believer. So spending time with God, understanding him as the creator and me as the creation, um, it helps me in every aspect of this business. When things are going great and when things are not going so great or when they're just kind of okay. In all of those seasons, there is definitely um, work that has to be done on making sure that you're taking care of you. Because here's what I noticed, and this is what I have even experienced, is that you know either you have to take care of your mind because things aren't clicking and you, you, know, you have to find ways to, a lot of people wanna say stay motivated, but I'm gonna say stay disciplined, um, stay true to your habits because we understand that if we sow the seed, we'll reap the harvest. It's just the same day we plant the seed. It's not the same day we're going to see the fruit. So it takes exercising your mind and strengthening your mind to get you to that harvest season, right? But then there are some of us that have been in the harvest season and it seems like everything is going like in business, things are going well, but then the rest of life just kind of goes bonkers and you want to give up and you, you, you lose your purpose and lose your way and you find yourself burnt out. Then too is when you have to protect your mind and you have to set your, th your sights on things that are greater than you. So I've given y'all a lot of advice here and I hope that you take it to heed because it's here to support you. But the biggest thing that I want to give you is that you have to spend time every single day just working on the thoughts that go on in your head. Now, I don't know who you are or what you believe, but me, I'm a Christian and I work on my mindset by opening up the Bible, reading what God has to say about me and choosing to believe it and live it out. Living it out on my good days and living it out on my bad days. That is what I'm going to encourage you to do. Now, some of you will want to choose to do books or podcasts or whatever. Whatever you're choosing to do, I'm giving you the one that I use and I highly recommend. But you need to find some way to just really regulate your mind. Because I know when you first come into this business, you're so excited. You're so motivated. But trust me, it's life. We're going to get knocked down at some point and you need an arsenal up here to help you continue to go when you hit those bumps. Okay? Okay. So y'all, that was it. <laughs> like, I know I'm saying that was it, but that was a lot. Do me a favor, go back, watch these videos again, right? Especially this last one, because you gonna, it's gonna be a moment where you're like, what am I doing? Ah! and you're going to remember what your homegirl told you about protecting your mind. But everything that I've shared with you, while it's not the Bible of real estate, it definitely will help get you on track as a brand new agent. Now, also listen, if you um, would like for us to connect, I would love to talk to you. Um, if you have any specific questions about what I've shared here, how I chose my brokerage, you know, things of that nature reach out to me on social media. And I really mean that. My name is Rosemary the Realtor on Instagram. Myself and my team, we would love to hear from you. And we would just love to see how we can continue to support you on your real estate journey. So listen, if you made it to the end of this video and this series and you're not subscribed to my channel, let me know why. <laughs> How about that? I Normally I say you, something must be wrong with you. Maybe something wrong with me. Let me know why because I want to make sure that we are improving this experience over and over um, just to show you that we are supporting. So thank you so much for hanging in here with me for eight videos on advice for brand new agents. You share this with your real estate bestie and I'll see you soon. Bye.